Just looking at college freshman Cade Weems today, you would never know he was nearly killed in an ATV accident and suffered a severe brain injury. I woke up in the hospital and I knew I was in the hospital, but I knew I was in a lot of pain and I knew that I, I was immobilized, I couldn't move or anything. They told us that if he lived that he would have, uh, you know, probably severe brain damage and uh, things and we, we prayed about it. Cade was unable to walk, sit up, even swallow. He spent weeks in UAB's ICU, followed by months of therapy at UAB's Spain Rehabilitation Center. It's not a quick recovery. You know, it takes many weeks, many months, but over the course of a year to two years, people get dramatically better. So repeat after me, okay, and we're working on really- The UAB Spain Rehabilitation uh, specializes in complex uh, rehab cases, really. We're a model system for head injury, uh, one of 16 in the country, and we're also a model system for spinal cord injury uh, as well. Go press down. Kay thrive thanks to a team of therapists. Kay just, I can't say enough about, you know, the progress that he made. He really is a miracle. Even though it was a long drive, and they gave us the option of going to some places that were closer that he could do his outpatient therapy, we chose to take the long drive and carry him back and forth because of the progress that he made. We didn't want anything to interrupt that. The one thing also that I liked about Spain is they let me stay with Cade. I never left, you know, Cade. Uh, I stayed there with him. They encourage, you know, family involvement. And whoever the caregiver is, we want them to be uh, totally educated on how to take care of that person when they go home. All right, you ready for your occupation? First, the team of therapists worked to give Cade his independence back. The goals in occupational therapy were more based on trying to get more movement in his left arm, build up the strength, the coordination, so he'd be able to go to school, carry a backpack, be able to take notes, as well as doing his normal everyday things, like getting in the shower and normal stuff that a teenager would do. Seven. How are you this morning? How are you this morning? In speech yeah. therapy, Cade's weak facial muscles were stimulated to help him relearn to talk and swallow. By the time he left, he was eating and drinking all regular things. Um, the trach was already taken out, and we were working on functional math, functional reasoning. This unique piece of equipment, the locomotor, helped Cade tremendously in physical therapy. He didn't have the muscle strength, he didn't have coordination, he didn't have the balance. So basically it helps to suspend him so that we're not having to worry about holding him up while we're trying to step. All of that feedback helps to kind of stimulate the brain to say, this is how you're supposed to walk, this is normal walking, this is what you were doing before. This team approach helps patients regain their skills much faster. I think the years of experience specifically in head injury and spinal cord injury uh, really enables us to uh, really be the leader uh, within our region. Uh, and that's why we get patients from really all over. Kate hopes his story will inspire others. I think Spain Rehab should be on top of their list by far because Spain Rehab is not only a rehabilitation center, but like I consider them fam a family place. I have so many friends and so many it's, they're just so close to me, dear in my heart, because they helped me get back into society. 